Yo, what's happening everybody? And welcome to the Raw Your Kenner's YouTube channel. As I'm cleaning, I'm thinking, and I got a word for y'all, man. Um, I got a couple dogs out. I'm going to let y'all see. I got Cleo, I got Soleil, and I got Zeus. And of course, Hayes. Hayes is trying to talk over me. Justin, come and get him, man. This dude, I don't know, man. I don't know if he feels like he just took over the kennel. Or, or if he feels like he just got to be on the camera or what. But every time I talk, he feel like he got to talk. But today I got a word for y'all, man. And the word for today is some of the best breeders are the least popular. You know, some of the best breeders are the least popular. And today has become a social media world. And look, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube almost every day. You know, that's my platform. But just because I have a decent following doesn't make me the best breeder. And some of the, the breeders that you see with millions of followers, that doesn't make them the best. You know, there's breeders out there who've been breeding since before social media. And they're cool with their clientele. They have a solid foundation. So. I'm just letting you guys know that, you know, don't, don't let people tickle your ears, you know, into believing and seeing something that truly isn't there. You know, I'm a dog man by heart, man. I do this for real. Without YouTube, without Facebook, without Instagram, I'm going to do the same thing, you know, but don't let my followers decide how great I am. You know, I know 40,000 followers isn't really a big platform, but it's nice and I am an ambassador of the American bully at heart. So my followers or my popularity doesn't make me better. There's gonna be guys with no followers. There's gonna be guys just building a YouTube channel because that's what the world is coming to today. So. Don't let the amount of followers a person have dictate how great they are. You know, um, I, I've seen people with hundreds of thousands of followers and I'd be like, man, you know, those dogs aren't really that nice. And the breedings that they do, like, man, they could have did something better than that. You know, you got tall dogs being bred to short dogs. And you got a lot of, you know, things that we know is going to produce a lot of inconsistencies. And they truly don't care because they got a following that's going to be like, yo, you the best, man. You're doing great. Continue what you're doing. Likes, likes, likes and views and all this and that, you know. But that doesn't make you a great breeder. I know all the comments and all the views, it motivates me. It motivates me to continue to do the right thing. You know the right thing by the breed and i thank you guys so much but y'all aren't what makes me you know y'all aren't what makes royal kennels you know seeing the dogs you know produce consistent looks seeing the program move in a forward direction of where it's supposed to go that's what motivates me and that's what motivates real dog men but i just want to let y'all know popularity doesn't make you the best and the amount of followers you have doesn't make you a great breeder. There's breeders out there who've been breeding the same thing for 30 plus years and don't even have a social media following. So don't let the internet pause you to um, look past those guys. You know, thank you guys so much for watching. Just a little quick word as I was thinking that I wanted to share with you guys. Have a wonderful day and God bless y'all.